Hi everyone, this is Ruel from Packet6, and I wanted to show you Cisco Viral, which stands for Virtual Internet Routing Lab. It's a network simulator very similar to GNS3 and Packet6, a little bit more feature rich and a lot more complicated to set up and use actually. Uh, what I have here are two windows open. In the front, I have VMware Fusion because Cisco Viral actually runs as a virtual machine. And if you go on the website, you'll figure out through their documentation how to get it installed. It took me a little while to get it running, but eventually I have it here. And I will minimize VMware Fusion now because that is all I'm going to show in this video. The main window that I use to create simulations or that you will also use to create simulations is called VM Maestro. And quickly I'll go over it. I have a project set up and as you can see over here in the top right, we are in design mode, which gives us all these windows and panes to select from. You can get to different views if you open uh, at the top window and then open perspective, you can get to the simulation window and you can see different views here. You can even reset the perspective if you close out windows or get it all messed up for your uh, configuration. On the left side, we have our palette, which is just gonna be the select tool and the connect tool. The connect tool will connect your devices up. As you can see here, I have in the middle pane, I got two switches. That blue line in the middle is the connect tool that I used. On the left pane again, if we go down to nodes, these are all the different nodes we can put on our topology. As you can see, there's different kinds of nodes. We got the iOS routers, CSRs, even NXOS, that's the Nexus switches. We can put in some servers, some unmanaged switches, the layer two switches using iOS, and also an ASA. Under general, there's uh, setup for sites and connecting viral to uh, external layer two and layer three ne networks. I haven't tried using these yet. I've been doing or using viral for some basic testing. Hopefully I'll get into some complicated setups here. In the middle, we have our topology again, and I just wanted to show you how to set this up. So basically what you do is you go into your nodes, you click on it, and instead of clicking and dragging, you just have to click once, and you can go on your topology, just click and add a new switch or a device. And you can just keep doing that as much as you want. When you're done, you go back to the palette and just use the select tool. Now, if you want to delete a node using the select tool, just highlight the node you want to remove and delete it. As you can see, as I'm doing this, other panes start to change. And so let's go over that. I will click on switch A and on the bottom pane there you'll see the properties of this node and so now I can change the name if I wanted to change the type of node from this sub uh, drop down here you can assign IP addresses different images I haven't played with those settings yet uh, not that I need to at the moment Auto net kit is how the configuration gets generated. It's auto generated. You can pre-select different configurations and it'll just do that for you in the configuration build. So you don't have to build a network from scratch. This is primarily helpful for environments that need to test out different network configurations and just getting it up and running is important so they can test out complex designs. The configuration uh, tab here will show you the configuration that was generated by the AutoNet kit. You can even save this using Save As and upload this to real physical devices. On the right side here, we have the node editor. If I click on this blue link in the middle pane, it'll show us how the devices are connected. And it shows the, what, what's nice about this view is it actually shows the interfaces because if you go back to the topology middle pane here, it looked like I just had one link between the switches, but what I do in fact have are two links. Now, after you've put your nodes on the topology and connected them up, the next thing you wanna do is build the configuration. 
And you do this by going to the top here, configuration, and then selecting build initial configurations. Another way you can do this is just by clicking on this shortcut icon here, which is short for build initial configuration. So let's do that now. When you do that, it'll ask you, do you want to see the configuration changes made by AutoNet Kit? Let's take a look at that. So it'll show it to you in XML format of the two devices. Here it is. There's your configuration to compare. I'll hit OK. Now it wants to ask you if you want to open this in AutoNet Kit visualization. I think this is a nice, neat feature here. It opened it up in this pane, but you can actually click and drag and move it to different panes. I'll move it into this same pane here, so we have one large pane. So now you can zoom in. You can see what interfaces are there, other configuration. This becomes very useful when you have large topologies and you can see which routers are part of what ASNs, how packets are moved through devices. We can take a look at that when I start building out more complex topologies. Now, once you've built the configuration, you want to put it into simulation so you can actually go in and manage these devices, right? And test configurations. The easiest way to do that is to go back to your topology and then click on this green icon here to launch simulation. As you can see, the shortcut key is just Command L. I'm using a Mac. There it goes, it's launched. Do you wanna open this in the simulation perspective? Yes, we do. You can now see in the console for, for viral what's going on and it's starting up my devices. As you can see, they're in the status of absent, which means they're not there yet. And there, there it goes, it just changed to active. There's a jump host. What that is, is from my host machine, I can open up iTerm, connect to the jump host, and from that jump host, connect to the switch A and switch B nodes. From here, you can actually just right click on the node, select SSH, and SSH to the management port of that switch. Get a little warning because I don't have this key yet. So there it is, opens up in a new pane. Default password is Cisco. And we're in. Cisco for the password again. So we can do show interface status. And it works just like a physical layer two switch. You get all the commands. There's no limitations like other simulators that we've used. And we can also see my neighbor, which is switch B. We can connect to the other switch as well. I'll move this up here to this middle pane. Passwords are usually just Cisco by default. And that's kind of Cisco viral at a, you know, bare bones, just looking at it. You can check out the preferences, even tune it a bit to your host that you're using. You can set up an external application for SSH and Telnet. I haven't done that yet. I'm using the built-in client. You got your topology editor settings. It's taken me a while to get used to it versus GNS3 where I got used to using GNS3 fairly quickly. I did want the layer two functionality here in Cisco Viral. And I also wanted to get the functionality of using Nexus switches. So there you have it. Quick look at Cisco Viral. The version I'm using is, uh, let's see here. If I can bring it up. The version I'm using is 0 0.9.242. Thanks for watching, guys.